Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the week of the 15th through the 21st. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Now keep in mind that uh, not every reading is for you. Some will be and some won't. So if it is, great. If it's not, maybe you want to watch your Venus sign for love, your rising sign. A lot of times I find my rising sign resonates more than my sun sign. Or you can watch your moon sign. This is for Cancer for the week ahead. What do we have for Cancer? We're going to do the, the Celtic Cross for this segment, and then I'm going to go back to my regular spread. We're going to go around once, then we're going to go around again to clarify. So right now, <laughs> you could be dealing with somebody who's not really putting in a lot of effort. Maybe, maybe, or maybe it's you. I don't know. Somebody's lost their focus and their concentration. This is, you know, the Page of Pentacles reversed is somebody that, I mean, this could be a dead end. There's something blocking you from success. I mean, it could be yourself, but it could be another person, or you could be holding on to a person. You could be dealing with a person that's lazy and complacent. You know, they don't really have any ambition. I mean, it could be you, or it could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, your challenge is the Ten of Cups, happiness. Or walking away, or letting this chapter close. You know, this is a completion, is letting it go. That's your challenge, basically. You know, finding happiness. Yeah, you, you, you the, the emperor reverse. This is control. This is wanting to control, clinging to control. This is anger. You could be dealing with an angry individual who's very controlling and manipulative. This per or you could be the person that's getting angry. You could be dealing with a person that is so lazy it's making you angry. I'm just saying. Um, an absence of happiness here. I don't think that you're extremely happy in the situation that you're at. You may be considering going your own way. You may be like, you know, I'm better off on my own than dealing with this bullshit. You know, honestly, I feel like you have a better opportunity of abundance going doing it your way, okay? I think you have the skills. I think that you know your worth, and probably whoever you're dealing with uh, may not. <laughs> they may not know your worth. Maybe this, I think what you were dealing with, a very, it's definitely an unhappy situ situation right here. This is both unhappiness. And this is blocked, and there could be no communication or blocked communication or little communication, no forward movement. Uh, you may be, at, you may have been resisting this change, but I think at, you're at a point where you don't want to resist it anymore because you want happiness. I see that happiness is the focus. You're like, I want happiness. I want to be involved in a third party situation. I don't want to be in a situation where there's no growth that's going to make me angry and upset. You know, I feel like you. You are probably uh, making a decision right now. I think it's a heavy decision to bring balance back to your life. Things have been unbalanced, maybe even a little chaotic. And I think that all you want is peace and harmony, right? You want balance in your life. You want happiness. And I think that you've, you may have your, you may have had your expectations dashed by an individual who, you know, doesn't really put in their fair share. So I feel like. You could be dealing with a player as well. And I have two player cards, and this is one of them right here in reverse. So the very first card, you could be dealing with a player, somebody who's very childish. Um, uh, this could even be a child. You, this could be a. This could be. A, you could be dealing with a child who's making you unhappy. I'm got to be honest with you. Your child could be in an unhappy circumstance, and that could. This could be about your child even for some of you. I mean, because this can go so many ways. This is breaking free, though, but this is in the past. So this is letting go of those limitations. I think you're sick of being limited to this situation. I think that you've reached the point where you're ready for change, okay? I think, I think that's what we got going on here. Um, I think that you are making a decision right now. 
you're making a decision. Maybe you're making a decision to stop communicating, to block it completely. It's like, you know what, this is, this is, this is fake. It's false. It's, there's nothing going to come out of this. There's no growth coming here. There's no change happening. This person hasn't changed. This person isn't going to change. And it, you may be like, you know what, <laughs> I want happiness. We're going to go back around, Cancer. We're not going to clarify this one because your, your, your clarifier is happiness. It's like, that's, that's what the, that's your challenge right now, your clarifier. Your challenge is happiness. You know, it's like, do I turn away from this or not? Do I give up on this or not? That's your challenge. I think whoever you're dealing with, they really aren't putting in the effort. And they may have caused you to lose sight of your goal because of their lack, okay? You may be deciding it's time to plant your seed someplace else. This is unrealistic. And now look at she's reversed. This person has, they may, they may not have any money. They don't have any drive. They don't have, they can't take care of themselves. You know, you, and it's probably making you very upset. They're, they're halting you. They're stalling you. You are probably dealing with a pe person that is stalling you from the abundance that you want. You know, they're, they're hindering you. They're, they, they are. It's like, they're, it's like, it's almost like it's costing you money. It's almost like they're costing you money, whoever you're dealing with. Um, <laughs> you could be dealing with another water sign. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo. We have everybody here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Leo. We have Sagittarius. We have everybody. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. I think that you are thinking about, you know, cutting your losses here and going someplace else. Because there's this person, this person's made you emotional. They've made you upset. I think you're dealing with a person that has really made you upset. They've stolen your energy in a lot for a long time. They may have made you feel like you did something wrong. They, you know, <laughs> whatever. That's what I think. I feel like you've been stuck on this situation for quite some time, but now you're ready to take a new approach. Maybe you you're realizing, you know, I got somebody better for me, and I'm I'm going I'm going taking a new approach. I'm going in a, on a new path here. Um, maybe you had a conversation with this person that opened your eyes. Um, presently, I think that you know your value, right? And I think you're putting your guard up. I think you're, you're, you're standing your ground. It's like, you know, I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm worth. So I think that at this point you're, you're standing your ground you're setting up a uh, barrier. You're, you're you're setting up a boundary, perhaps, and you're like, you know what? This is. I'm not going to be involved in this. I'm not going to be involved in a third party situation. I'm not going to be in a situation that steals my joy. I'm worth more than that. So I think presently you are really seeing your worth. You're seeing your value. You may you may be seeing the value of another person as well. I mean, for some of you, because it's what it, bits and pieces are going to resonate with you. If you are the Cancer male, you may be a, seeing a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know that is worth fighting for. Maybe there was a third party situation, and you're deciding that. <laughs> no, this is making a decision. So I don't know. This is this is defending, fighting for something. You may be fighting for this person. I don't know. Now this is letting go. This is release. Maybe this person has released. Or maybe you're releasing. I mean, that is letting go, get the giving up the fight. Maybe somebody sees that you've given up the fight or you see that they've given up the fight and, and somebody is going after it. That's what it looks like to me. I think that somebody has given up and somebody may be trying to go after. Interesting. Oh, we, this is Pisces and Cancer, so... Reality check, seeing the truth, seeing the situation clearly. So I feel like you guys have been in an unhappy situation, maybe a third party situation. I feel like maybe that has been released, okay? Maybe that's been released. It's been let go of. And now somebody is realizing, 
somebody is realizing the truth about another opportunity and they may be wanting to go get it, you know, to go after, to fight for it. That could be somebody's scenario. Um, somebody has let go of a third party situation. Could be you, Cancer. Maybe you're deciding, you know, I don't need to be involved in this shit. I know my value. I know my value. So this could go so many different ways. It's like seeing the light here. Somebody has seen the light. I know either you have seen somebody else's value or you're seeing your own value. It could go either way. So, anyway. This is blocked communication. This is blocked no forward movement. This is right in the future position. I feel as though somebody has made a decision. The decision has been made. Perhaps to come out of this darkness... You know, and go down that new path. Somebody is making a choice for sure. A choice, a decision is absolutely being made to take a new approach here. After probably no communication at all. Maybe somebody decides to block the whatever, the third party, and step forward. Okay? I don't know what that is. To step forward into a, you know, onto a new path. And onto something bigger and better. Onto a new path. Onto something bigger and better. So you have a new opportunity here, Cancer. Golden opportunity for something solid, stable, and secure. I think it's brand new. Brand new. So I think that you are probably... Somebody is, is putting a halt to something that was insecure. Something that was unstable. And making a decision to focus on a future that is bigger and brighter. And you may have a better opportunity presented to you that you see. Okay, you may see it. You may see the bigger, better opportunity already. I kind of think that you do. I think that you do. I feel like somebody has wasted some time here. Somebody has wasted some time um, not stepping forward or not letting go, not turning their back on something that they should have. And I think now they have. Now they have ended it. So if there's been a third party situation, it has probably ended. It's come to an end. Um, and now it's time for a new beginning. There's been a lot. There could be some unf unfinished business that needs to be taken care of. Um, and it could be, you know, this could be a reconciliation. This could be a new love. I feel as though there is definitely some unfinished business that needs to come to to an end okay something some there's something that needs to come to an end somebody has been um, not hmm. they maybe maybe they've been getting prepared and they are they they who knows this is not prepared not this is wasting time dashed expectations Somebody has wasted their time, I think, in a third-party situation again. And now the other person, I think, has probably blocked and moved on. And this other person, you know, wants to come back and offer love. I don't know who the hell this is for. Oh, my God. This could be new love, though. Maybe this is, is ending the unrealistic uh, situation that never came to fruition without closure for new love could go so many ways there's so many people watching this this is new opportunity for love and this is a golden opportunity so you have a new golden opportunity for love here whether it's a reconciliation or it's somebody brand new, you absolutely have an opportunity. It could go either way. It could be a reconciliation or it could be somebody brand new. But whatever it is, this path leads to something big, solid, and secure. And emotionally fulfilling. But there's an ending that comes before it, okay? I have to tell you, there is. This is an ending. Uh, this is an ending. And so we definitely have a completion here. We have a completion of something. So this is making that final decision, making that heavy decision, you know, to bring balance and harmony back to your life because there hasn't been any. 
things have been turned upside down. You may have been on a roller coaster. It's been, it's been crazy. It's been nuts. You were dealing with somebody who wasn't putting in a lot of effort. That's for damn sure. And I feel like, you know, a decision is being made to restore balance. I've got to have this balance back in my life. And it's time for me to do the right thing. So whether it's you doing the right thing, you know, or somebody else, somebody is about to do the right thing. Take back control of a situation. Break free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. This is what this is. This is restoring control to bring balance. This is, this is freedom. Personal freedom. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Somebody has made the decision to break free from an unhealthy situation. Could have been a karmic contract. You know, maybe they've learned a serious lesson and they're breaking free from it now. The lesson's been learned. Has to do with value for sure. Maybe it has to do with another woman's value or your value or something like that. It does have to do with value. I feel like somebody has gone backwards because of karma. Karma has brought a person backwards because of their poor decisions and somebody has learned a lesson. And I think that... Now we have somebody that is taking a new approach and they're coming forward with something solid, stable, and secure. I think this person has been planning. I think this person is coming with something in their hands. This person is um, being genuine and real, whoever this is. I see somebody is moving slowly forward uh, towards with an offer of something stable and secure. That's what I see. I think somebody has made a decision. They've gone backwards long enough and I'm taking what I got and I'm going someplace else. Taking the practical approach. Now, somebody wants a reconciliation for sure. Somebody wants a reconciliation. They may want, or if it's not a reconciliation, this could be somebody from a past life as well. If somebody wants another chance. It's like they want to bring it back alive. They're, 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 they, they, they've been through a situation that has caused a lot of disharmony in their life. And they, they probably were taking a break and they... They were have been enlightened now, and now they want a chance because they see another person's value. That's what we got going on here. We have Scorpio, and we have Taurus and Libra. So, I, or this could be you, Cancer. If it's you're the female, this is a female. This is a female. This female, she knows her worth, and she puts in effort. It's not this person right here. Uh -uh. This work person has experienced a lot of pain in her life. The pain that she has endured has made her the Empress. The Empress is an older woman that knows her worth. She ain't no spring chicken. Life experience has made her the Empress. So this woman, she's she knows her worth and she knows her value. And I feel like whoever this woman is, we have somebody here that... I think they want a revival. They want a revival and they would like a reconciliation with this woman, whoever this woman is. This is a revelation, a wake-up call. So, and this is karma and then we have karma. Somebody has learned a karmic lesson. They have. Somebody has been dealt the hand of karma and they have gone backwards for perhaps, you know, involving themselves in a third-party situation and getting, you know, used. You know, um, anyway, this is unhappy, this, but, but this card is still a card, even in the reverse, it's still a card of happiness, but it's delayed. Happiness has been delayed. This is the overall outcome, delayed happiness, but there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. But that's once you take that new approach, somebody could be, if you are completely, completely, completely single, Somebody could be heading towards you, a new sexual partner, a new partner that is very, very attractive. This is taking a new approach that says, go for it. This says, go for it. You have, you have this desire, go for it. So, Cancer, I think that you probably have an opportunity. I mean, we have one, 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 okay? One, one, one. Your thoughts become things. 
spiritual awakening, wake up call. Somebody has gotten a wake up call, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. And it, this wake up call has to do with self worth and, and not just self worth, another person's worth. Somebody is seeing another person's worth after letting them down, I think, with another person. If that's not the case, there's a new opportunity here for love, stability. Security, passion. You have a passionate, new, solid, emotionally fulfilling beginning here. Could be somebody with, could be with somebody brand new, and or it could be a reconciliation. But it's after ending something. It is. It is. There's an ending here. There is. So somebody could be, you know, sending a message that has been delayed. They've been delaying the message and all of a sudden they decide suddenly to just send the message. Um, they get this epiphany, you know, to come forth with something. So that could certainly happen for you, Cancer. Or you're the one giving the message. This, I think this is somebody you already know. I do. I do think this is somebody you already I do. I just, I do. Um, we have a passionate new beginning here. Let's see what we got for cancer. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Go for it. This says do it. Whatever it is, do it. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And I'm going to show you the card on the bottom because I think it's pretty important. Heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I think there could be a conversation, I do, that comes up this week that gives you the opportunity to discuss your feelings with this person, whoever it is, that wants to have a new beginning with you. Somebody wants to have a new beginning with you. Or you want to have a new beginning with them. There's an opportunity to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And maybe even rekindle. I don't know what that means. But for some of you. Or this could be somebody brand new. That's what I have. Good luck, Cancer.